हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सो आई होप यू ऑल हैव एंजॉयड योर समर ब्रेक राइट यस सो वेवर वी बिफोर द समर ब्रेक सिविक्स फोर साइंस पेज टू लेट्स सी पेज Yes, we started with this uh, pressurized and this stimulation, correct? Yes. All right. Before I proceed, just a small piece of information. Those chapters which were included in your periodic assessment one, do know that those will be included for your half yearly examinations as well. The overall syllabus for your half yearly examinations would be told to you very soon. So, if you want to be, you know, informed about the syllabus, attend the classes regularly. Or else, you know, last time also I told you, some of you, what you have done. Just <coughs> few days prior to your. periodic assessment one some of you are inquiring about your syllabus i hope it won't happen this time right if you attend the classes regularly you will be informed you will be you can keep yourself updated if you don't you will miss the lots of informations explanations classes and many more things which will later put you in trouble okay yes so my dear children we were doing chapter 2 of pole science that is prejudice and discrimination we have already started as i have marked here and uh, we have explained up till yeah page number 226 stereotypes right right hand side we are about to start the topic that's uh, children who are special correct let's start that no worry i won't do much today as because i know you are still in that uh, that zone of you know summer break we will proceed gradually but i just request you all that whatever we do be one topic two topic three topic whatever we do daily go through that do not keep things for the later moment because you know what happens is that if you keep things for the 11th hour it will get piling up and not only for this particular subject as you have so many subjects right so the number of topics be it one be it two just 5 10 minutes or 15 minutes whatever just revise that at home and especially those important points which i am ask you to mark if you can if you frame that question answers regularly you'll have a good handful of notes you know a good one Okay, so let us start with this uh, children who are special. As I read, kindly follow the test. Some children are special because they are differently able. They might move around in a wheelchair or with the help of crutches, or they might need hearing aid to hear properly. Some children are not able to see, you, while some others cannot read or write fluently, like other like their friends. special children need our special care and attention they need love respect and acceptance by others we should neither take pity on them nor make fun of them it is important that differently able children do not face discrimination till recently regular schools did not admit children with special needs so they had to attend special schools meant for them but now there are many inclusive schools where children with special needs get the opportunity to study together with other children so that they may not feel that they belong to any separate category all right so as the chapter says prejudice and discrimination so another way how discrimination is being practiced being followed in our society especially we uh, when it comes to children those who are special 
as this uh, this line says you know it's very much self explanatory simple language i hope as i was reading most of you, have, you might have understood by the reading itself that in our society we find some children who are special and uh, yes with this word special i just want to say something to all of you see my dear children the words that we use to express or the words that we use to talk you know there is a saying i forgot who said that but i read somewhere that words which class is this classic so you will understand that uh, words have got life of their own so think twice before you speak okay the saying goes like this i repeat words have got life of their own so think twice before you speak now why did i say this what connection this has got with this topic children who are special look at the topic it is how it is written children who are special the word special okay double inverted commas but sometimes in our society you might have come across people saying the terminology scientific terminology for their different that but instead of using this word call it's a kind of a word you know a negative word i would say that handicap it demotivates discourages why can't we use this word special special children a special person right why special what do you, you know the meaning of special huh? something unusual a different one okay so they are special so this is something which strike me so i thought of telling you this before explaining this so i hope and for it's not only with related to children with anybody any person anybody you come across use this word instead of using any other word so yes uh, now coming back to the topic uh, you might have seen children especially you know they are in fact uh, especially able you can see that yes in some way or the other they may not like i remember one story with uh, which class is that i forgot which class i believe uh, in class 10 literature there is a chapter it's a it's basically a kind of a, a real life story of a for a particular character Evelyn Clenny you can even google it out this her name she was also a very <laughs> differently able children as blessed children in one way she was not like us but in the other way she was very much special just read about her and you will get to know about that particular story it's a very it's very much motivating you know it's very good so this topic reminded me of that particular chapter of uh, class 10 so here this special children you see at times they need they need the support they need the assistance of uh, it can be of it can be various things like some of them they may be in need of wheelchair some of them they may be in need of uh, clutches some of them they may be in need of uh, carrying aid huh? so this children they and some of them you may also find at times it happens like you know in the class it's not that only being physically special or physically different the able makes you a different person some of at times you may find among your friend circle that uh, everybody may not have the same capacity of uh, reading or writing but one who is you know is not like us or you can say one who is not so well in reading and writing does not mean that he or she is a dull student no never especially See right now what is going on i hope you are watching news and all olympic games right sports in simple term if i say sports games so it does not mean that if one who is not good in writing one who is not good in reading one who is not good in scoring in academic does not mean that that student is bad no games sports singing dancing so many things are there so likewise <coughs> sorry likewise uh, they are special right and since they are special they need special attention 
so therefore and you know the best way of giving special attention to them is to love them to accept them the way they are right and also to respect them we should not feel pity upon them because feel, feeling pity upon them the moment we feel pity upon them it uh, makes them realize that they are in some way or the other lesser than us and as a result we are feeling pity upon them we should not make them feel so they are in no way inferior than us all right so never feel pity upon them but yes love them accept them respect them this is the most important thing and do not make fun of them okay so this uh, differently able children or you can say the special children must not face any discrimination that must be our you know main lookout in fact as the topic says that uh, till recently the regular schools that we have they didn't accept this type of uh, special children but however now there are many schools where children with differently able capabilities gets the opportunity to study together with the other children so that they don't feel that they belong to a, a separate category or they don't feel that they are being discriminated next we have a uh, discrimination and inequality not much is <coughs> as, <coughs> as i told you in the beginning itself i won't rush right one topic for the day but i am requesting you all please go through this if you read this topic that itself is enough for you you don't have to read the whole book in a day okay you don't have to climb the everest in a day no just one topic in a day do that much that's more than enough because by the time as we proceed daily your exam approaches even you won't know that you're done with the whole book so do that okay and i believe you will all do it all right see you then in the next class god bless you all study well